This is my pal. Hello, you. This is me. <laughs> Eating about legends. Good morning, you absolute legends. So, this morning we are at the Northern Territory Wildlife Park. Now, we've been put on this by Mikey and Fawny, who um, been here, said it was a really good spot. So, here we are. I'm going to check it out. Hopefully, we'll see plenty of. Uh, crazy wildlife around here um it's starting to pack up at his easter weekend so um let's get a mosey on in and see what we can find eat and a bit Right, so we'll have ourselves a map of what's going on today. So we just spoke to the girl and she's like, hey, listen, there's a wee train that goes round, but if we start walking now, we're heading for the nocturnal house. And the nocturnal house we should see possums, gliders, wallabies, bat snakes, and quolls. What's a quoll? I don't know what a quoll is. But I'm sure we'll soon find it. We'll find it and it in a bit. Legends! Something like ceramic tiles, look. Must be all the way mosaic artworks. There's a few of them about there. Cane toad, wedding counters, volunteers. I'm not gonna lie. I was watching um, RS Outdoors last night. Love his videos. And he's in a spooky house and he says if something was to jump out on him his arse would fall out and i'm telling you now if a snake that size was to be seen my ass would fall out oh yes my little, little mushrooms a black footed Tree rat. It's a rat. Right, here we go. We can either go to the Billabong, the Nocturnal House, or the Woodland Walk. We're going to the Nocturnal House. scared the shit out of me though. <laughs> Seen them hanging there and I thought... I can feel the aircon here when you open the door. Into the nocturnal house. I didn't know what a call was. These um, tree frogs, I don't know if you can make them out, but they're just here. We get them in the garden all the time, hanging up the walls. We even had them in the house. I have my missus chasing them around the house, actually. <laughs> Golden bandicoots. That sounds like something from the land of witch in the wardrobe. I found a golden bandicoot. <laughs> so this is the uh, restaurant for all the uh, animals that are in here. I want to get fed. Crickets and fruit. 
Bring that name, it's like a Stuart. <laughs> is that baby mice? Oh, it is, oh, it looks like baby mice. See that, though? Long skink. Water rats. Hey, Elmer. Just literally walked into my idea of hell. He's had enough of all the people all around him, so he's chilling out in his own. <laughs> so we're heading now for the Billabong and the Monsey Fort. See that? There's two bikes here. Sweat's running down the crack of my shock. So it's well up in its 30s now, the humidity's ramped up a bit as well, but we're in a wee bit of shade, which helps. But if you're walking around this place, there is a train that goes around, but you're standing for 10 minutes or 15 minutes waiting on each if it's coming around. So better just keep on moving, keep on walking. So next up is the Billabong. Look nice. I like shaded walks. Literally, especially when it's up in the 30s and the high humidity. Listen to crickets and all. Eat and a bit. Welcome to the Billabong. This looks like um, a bit in sight. It's actually really nice. Right, so the Billabong is permanent water hole that is cut off from the main channel in dry season but reconnected when the river floods in the wet. There you go. Every day is a school day. That's what Billabong is. Billabong. Here ladies and gents, if you're beautiful, Billabong. How nice is this look? Isn't that gorgeous? This in the Billabong you will find pelicans, turtles, fish, and freshwater crocodiles. Mm -hmm. More than snake neck turtle. Here come the pelicans. I didn't realize how big they are. They say they're baits on. Oh, Mr. Pelican. Mm -hmm. They're big ass birds. Pelicans. Big ass pelicans. Oh. Well, there's a wee turtle sticking its head up right beside the pelican. I don't know if you can see it. See it? <laughs> That'd be one of them snake, snake head turtles. And then there's more over there, like, I don't know if you can make them out. So you've got loads of turtles with their heads sticking up, and then you've got the big ass pelicans. Look at the size of them birds. Absolutely beautiful. That big one. He, uh, he snuck up on me and came from under the wee bridge. My ass just a bit fell out there. <laughs>
Look what we found, some of our old friends. This size that. I don't even see all the dragonflies jumping around as well. What an absolutely beautiful, beautiful spot. It's meant to be freshwater crocs, but I haven't seen one yet. Oh yeah, anyway. It's like a 747 taking off and then bad boys start flapping their wings. But it's a size and you don't realise how big they are. Look. Giant clam shells that illegally fished. So for the last month that's what my involved in at work. Clamping down on illegal fishing. So they take these and they take um cucumbers uh, and try and sell them off in Asia and China. Forgetful one, like me. <laughs> trap. There's the cats these bad boys out. Trap trap. I've seen a few of them. I was out running down by Lee Point one day and there's one that's buried out there. Bloody hell, it was like filled with something. To say that it didn't go near it was an understatement. Spelling the myths. 
say is these bad boys. Fresh water, freshies, salt water, salties. Right, we're going to see the dingoes. Now we did see a pack of these wild in um, up near Lee Point. So um, we see this bad boy. Just looks like a little dog. But you can see here, this is what these bad boys eat. Closest relative is the Asian woof. Woof. Here we go. Hello, Mr. Dingo. You can see why people just get mixed up like like a wee dug, but they're not wee dugs. These things can be dangerous. Hence the reason there's a moat in between us. So this we're coming to is the Ulu Sandbar. Oh, there's rays in here, look. Isn't this beautiful? It's really well done. Huh? Trying to find a ray. Big ass bar number. The size of it, look. Some big ass fish. Oh, look at the way over all of the size of it. Mm. Maybe we can make it out moving mm -hmm. across the water there. I think it's absolutely huge. Yeah. And you can see it. I never guessed what was just spied on the buffalo trail. Penguins. Okay. Yeah, now uh, it says aerial stock mustering. Just use the choppers to round up the buffalo and stuff. And that's why I've got to the chopper. Get to the chopper. Pretty cool, look. Made of the car parts and the tools. We got an old uh, 22, level 22. Consequences of buffalo being introduced. So because Australia has been so isolated and the wildlife and fauna has developed the way it has, what's happened is when they introduced the, the buffalo, it's decimated like areas of wild fauna and wildlife that ordinarily wouldn't be harmed. But because of the buffalo here, they went, boof, here you, I'm having some of that pish. There you go, every day is a good day. Like a wee bird. <laughs> really well done, these sculptures made out of this ram. I guess like an old two hitch hook. Metal bars. This place has been absolutely beautiful. On the last sort of walk, pushed down to the back to the main station. There's markets here as well, but I'm not going to lie. I'm absolutely Hank Marvin. Went for a run this morning and then just had a smoothie and walked around all this. Now um, my stomach thinks my throat's cut. I'm Hank man. There's a couple of wee um, ham and coleslaw rolls and brioche buns with my name clean over it. So I'll be uh, far naming to me as soon as possible. Might even let you watch. Boot in boot. Said main station was about the last 20k. Maybe shouldn't have went for that run this morning. Fucking legs are aching. Anywho, en route to the Mon Station. I'm gonna think about this Mahama cheese sandwich or Mahama coleslaw sandwich. I'm not gonna lie. I 
need some feeding. I'm like a baby. I need fed every four hours. Definitely.